Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Elden Ring, where this time, after 230 hours, three legitimate playthroughs, I decided I wanted to try mods. What the fuck was that? I wanted to try mods. I decided that I wanted to use mods just to like give me certain items for this build because I didn't want to struggle. I just wanted to have fun with it. And that's how I'm going to play this game from now on. I don't care. Don't cry about it. Uh, I decided to go with a Pyromancer build, which is fire spells, fire incantation, incantations, whatever, and decided to play as Zuko. Now, leave a link in the description for the video that I used as inspiration, as well as the link to the Reddit post that I used for the sliders to play as Zuko. And this run wasn't actually that bad. Is it these guys that are fucking crying? It is. Jesus. Um, this ring wasn't that bad. Ring? No, this run wasn't that bad. Uh, some bosses were annoying. You could probably imagine which ones they were. And some bosses were actually really, really easy. Some took less attempts than others. And it's actually a pretty, pretty fun build. I'll leave a link to the, like I guess I'll leave a link to the video, the Reddit post, whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Also, I forgot to record my Jeet because I, I just forgot. I just, I just, oh well. Oh well, I forgot. But like, my Jeet's fucking easy anyway. So, you're not missing much. Alright, so up first, of course, it's the Lord of all that is golden. Now, this one is pretty simple. I just did all my buffs and just threw a bunch of balls at him. I even tried the oil pots at one time. That one didn't really hit, but it still did a pretty decent amount of damage. All I really had to do was keep my distance and just throw basically everything at him. Now, I tried to get him without transitioning to the second phase, but I couldn't get it off the time. Now the second phase was like just pretty simple. All I had to do was just go through the fire and the flame and just hit him once with the deck and double jump attack. I am the Lord of all that is golden. And Quick and easy. Then of course I started to do Ronnie's quest and that means I had to fight Radon. Now for the Radon fight, I pretty much played it like a straight little bitch. I summoned everybody possibly could and just kept my distance the entire time. Not because I was scared, but because I just didn't want the headache of having to run up to him and just throw a bunch of fireballs at him. It was just a lot easier this way. I kept forgetting most of these spells just like didn't have that much range on them and I, me keeping them in the distance was not helping at all uh, at all and then I remembered he had a second phase and I tried to get to the cheese spot but I couldn't get there in time so I dodged that and then I just let everybody Keep his attention forever. And then at some point, I ended up getting stunned after like a couple of hits, and I just went in and got the finisher. Okay, here we go for the Astel fight later in Ronnie's quest. I did all my buffs, but apparently it didn't mean shit because he ends up sniping me. Now this is one of the more annoying bosses in this entire run, mostly because none of my attacks could reach him, plus he kept moving all the time. He just wouldn't stay still. But thankfully I had the Dung Eater out to help me because he actually pulled a lot of the aggro. And he's pretty beefy too, so... And I was just trying so hard to get off the infernal flame, but he just wouldn't stay still long enough where he kept knocking me out. And plus it doesn't help that he's actually kind of resistant to fire magic, so I wasn't doing that much damage to him anyway.
Some of that would get lucky. And this entire this this round actually I felt pretty confident about. But and I really it really didn't matter because I still wasn't putting enough, enough damage for it. And then when I thought I was close, he pulls this off. Yeah, that pissed me off. And for this round, it was just... I went in way too cocky. He correct that real quick. Yep. That sucked ass. And for this round, basically the same thing. I dodged this, except for the second one for some reason. That was bullshit. And then again, I tried going in for fire attacks, but... My range was terrible, it wouldn't stay still, it was just an annoying fight overall. Now, throughout this fight, I was hoping that Dungator would get like a stun on him, but unfortunately, that just wasn't the case. Yeah, every time I try to pull that one off, it's just he just kept moving and knocking me away. So unfortunately, I couldn't do anything. And then at one point, I just got super impatient and was just throwing everything possible. He's getting real sloppy at the end of this one. Now, when if I could get that spell off, it was great. It did a lot of damage, but just the timing was always so terrible. On deck 3 for this one, he ends up backing into it and fucking kills himself. Now here we find the Red Wolf in Ray Lucaria and this one actually got me worried because he's so fast he's not he's like it's one of the easiest bosses but he is so quick and I just couldn't get a spell off in time Yeah, at this point I was super nervous. I was trying to keep my distance. I know one, I was literally one hit away. I know, not my cleanest run, not the best run, but whatever. He's dead. And I kind of move on to the moon, bitch. Now for this fight, it's actually I got pretty lucky at the start because all three of the shield kids or whatever we're all in the same area and then as soon as she came down I was able to just one phaser it's pretty simple now for the second fight I tried to keep my distance and just have the Dungator do all the damage, but unfortunately she just wouldn't stay still. Another boss that just wouldn't stay still. So I ended up just, just getting impatient and just running at her instead. Despite how much damage I was doing, she just wouldn't stay still long enough for me to get it off sometimes. And after that, we all have to go some god. Now I went into this fight thinking I was a shit, but he quickly corrected at the beginning. I did well, and then he ended up just smoking me. Yep. Now we're back for round two. I was able to get most of my buffs off, but he ended up just cutting me in the beginning. 
Uh, this time I try to keep my distance, but of course he has that stomp attack that just, which is like stun lock me. And I just couldn't get away in time. Thankfully he would just walk everywhere, making everything a lot easier. But when he would try to get a combo off, it was just like, it was super scary. There's one more to the face. And then after that, it was time to fight. Morgoth. Last of all kings. Now the Morgoth fight was actually not as bad as I was thinking. I just tried to keep my distance and have Melania do most of the damage. And then whenever she would get his attention, I would just go in and start throwing balls at him. And she does that attack, which is like a giant tree, but so I don't know what that is. So if anyone can let me know in the comments, that'd be great. And there was one point where he ends up doing this crazy wacky combo. And it's just super funny to me for some reason. Yeah, that one. I don't know what the fuck he was trying to do there, but it was fucking hilarious. But eventually it was just a quick and easy run. I'm not going for perfect, but whatever. So after that, we headed north and met up with the homie Alexander. And then we went on to fight the biggest baby back bitch in this entire fucking game. Yep, the fucking fire giant. Now this was a fight that I was originally dreading because I knew using fire spells against a fire giant was going to be a really bad time. But I actually did pretty well. For the most part, at least. I first had Alexander do most of the damage. At least try to take most of the aggro. But just trying to focus on that ankle, it took a lot longer than other runs. I eventually gave up on using fire spells and just went straight for just using my daggers. Man, trying to get not trying not to get stomped on was actually a lot harder than than it looks. Okay, now here we go, transitioning to the second phase, and I thought I actually had it in this run, I was super excited, but unfortunately some rock got through and blew up right in front of me. Yeah, so that was annoying. So for round two, I ended up summoning both Alexander and the Dung Eater, just to make things a little bit easier, and I was hoping the Dung Eater would help debuff the Fiery Giant and all that door, allowing me to do a lot more damage. Now using Flame of the Fell God actually kind of sucked because he wouldn't stay play. he wouldn't stay still long enough for you actually get hit by it. It would go off and he would just move sometimes. But Burnal Flame was actually what carried me through that this entire run. back in phase two again and I'm just just trying to focus on getting burn on flame off but again I just couldn't get it for some reason he either wouldn't stay still or he just kept mashing me out
No, I actually thought this was the run, but unfortunately he just pulled some bullshit on me and he just fucking took me out in like less than one hit. I mean, look at his health. Look how fucking close I was, dude. Yep. Yep. All right, we're back in uh, phase two, of round three. And it's the same bullshit over and over. I just was at this point, I was fucking impatient. I was thankfully Don Gator was just doing all the work, and I was just trying to get my spells off when I wasn't getting hit. Yeah, I ended up doing that for some reason. I thought it was pretty funny, so I thought I'd highlight it. I was really thankful that Dungeter was here, taking most of the hits. Because I knew I would be here a lot longer if I hadn't used them. Now, unfortunately, Dung Eater had died and, and realized that Alexander was like nowhere to be found. So eventually I found him just staring at the landscape. Yeah. So you can see him just staring at the landscape for some reason, just contemplating life, rethinking his decisions, wondering if his journey's even worth it. And I tried to get his attention, but unfortunately I just... I just couldn't bother anymore, so I just waited for the fire giant to yell at him so he can come back into the fight. After that, it was pretty easy because of Alexander ended up pulling all the aggro from him. So I could just get up behind him and pull off as many spells as I could. I mostly stuck to Black Flame because of the leeching effect. And it actually carried me throughout the rest of the fight. And then at one point, Alexander pulls off this crazy move that I've never seen before, ending the fight before I can even do anything. Now after he was dead, I went up and just took out my appreciation of Commander O'Neill. It's actually a lot closer than I thought it was because he pulled this off. But he ends up getting clapped in the end. So now that he was dead, I can grab what I wanted to. Transition to this to my least favorite place in this entire goddamn game. The Halic Tree Ever Jail. Now this place fucking sucks because you have these archers that just that can aimbot you from like halfway across the fucking map. And I tried everything in my power to fucking cheese them, but unfortunately I just got frustrated and decided to just rush at them. Now aside from now, and you have like three more that you have to worry about, and their aim is just so fucking good, it's just fucking ridiculous. Like this place sucks ass. I don't know what the fuck the developers were thinking when they fucking made this place. Seriously, I fucking hate it here. Just looking back on the footage, just fucking pisses me off. All right, so after we got the first one, I decided to run over here and try to get the next one. And I was just waiting for them to finish. And then I almost had this one where unfortunately I ran out of stamina at the last minute and somehow gets a shot off. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Thankfully your progress is saved, so when I came back the next time I didn't have to do the whole thing again. But I was just so annoyed I couldn't even make a simple fucking jump. I mean look at this. I, mean, I rushed this one. Yep, fucking lose it. I had to take this one out because I knew it was going to piss me off if I didn't. But the other one just kept fucking shooting at me. Aside from them, you do have invisible black knife assassins that to worry about. And they will stab you in the back one shot at you sometimes.
So after that one was done, I could finally get the next candle that I needed. And I decided to just take out the last one because I knew it was going to bite me in the ass if I did it. I decided to cheese it by throwing the giant ball at them. And then they weren't going to do anything at the time. And for a second, I contemplated going down there, but then I was like, why not? I can just, just spam L1 until they die. And after that was done, it was time for the last candle. And unfortunately, I ended up getting uh, bass stabbed in the back by that Black Knight Assassin I told you about. Thankfully, I survived and was able to get the last one. I was able to go to my other least favorite place in this entire game. The Halleck Tree. Now that I was here, I could finally take on the hardest boss in this entire goddamn game and throw my PC out the window. That's right. Loretta. No, but seriously, this boss actually gave me a run for my money. For some reason, I just, I just couldn't do it. I don't know why. I don't know if it was just me being cocky, but look at that. Literally, first try, I was dead. Now in the second phase, I actually took it a little bit more seriously, kept my distance, and just tried to hit her with as much rage attack as possible. But unfortunately, I just couldn't get them to hit. Now, Loretta isn't the hardest boss, but if you're not taking it seriously, she will destroy you. At least for me. Now at one point in this clip, she ends up hitting me with every fucking spell that she has and just fucking annoys the hell out of me. Yep, that was it. For the next phase, I just kept my distance even more and only attacking when she was actually when she ever she stopped for a second. Of course not all my attacks would hit because they would run out of range. Yep. And then that happened. Now for the next phase, basically rinse and repeat, just throw a bunch of balls at her until she died and just avoid every freaking attack. At this point I was just so fucking frustrated like I didn't even want to bother anymore. I seriously considered giving up on Loretta. Now coming to the end of the fight, I was just so fucking focused, I decided I just didn't want to risk it. So I just delayed all of my attacks. But eventually she fell, and then I decided to move on to the last boss of the game. Now at this point, I remember there was a skip to Melania because I was too lazy to run through the entire map. And I decided I wanted to try it. And then, of course, that went as well as you could imagine. That happened a lot. And then at one point I felt super fucking confident, but that was corrected. Yep. 
So eventually I, I went on YouTube to make sure it still worked and it turns out it did and then my first attempt back this happened So after that it was finally time to fight the one and only Lania, Blade of Mikola. So for this fight is actually pretty easy or at least a lot easier than it used to be in my other playthroughs because she's actually kind of weak to fire which is super fucking convenient so of course i let the dung eater take all of her attention and i just focus on my hard hitting spells like giant's flame and vernal flame and that actually did a lot sometimes it would thankfully it would stagger her and i actually knock her on her ass and getting through her first phase was actually a lot easier this this run through because i could just keep my distance and just spam all my fucking spells so going into the second part of her fight is actually the same thing. I usually just throw a bunch of spells at her. But unfortunately the Dungator ends up getting taken out pretty fucking early. Thankfully he gets his debuff off, which actually helps us a lot. And she's she can still easily be staggered. But at this point the Dungator had died and she focused mainly on me and I didn't know how to react. Yep, that was it. My first loss. I'm going into round two. It's basically the same thing. I don't know what the fuck I was doing there. I was hoping she would like run at me for some reason. But in this part, I just kept spamming by Giant's Flame. And it actually worked. And she was just focused on Dungan the entire time. And he was debuffing her also, so... Now, for this phase, I actually did a lot better at keeping my distance, but unfortunately I couldn't keep the Dungator alive long enough to actually make it through the phase. But Giant's Flame was actually doing a lot of work by knocking her off. Now, at this point he had died and she was focusing on me again, so I just literally tried my best to keep away from her and just spam Giant's Flame the entire time. But of course that didn't work. We're going to try number three. Same thing, I was just spamming uh, Burn All Flame. And that seemed to work a lot better. Because that sound was, this sound was able to keep the... I was able to keep Dungeon alive a lot longer. But, of course, he gets taken out fairly quickly, leaving me to do all the work by myself. Nope, just kidding. I got her on my own. And of course, I had to celebrate. Now, after that, we meet up with baby girl Melina, let her suck our soul, uh, transition us to another terrible place. Yeah, this place fucking sucks. So I just ran through the entire map and just ran straight for the Goskins. And I buffed her buffing myself up. I knew this was going to be a tough fight by myself, so of course I had to bring Dung Eater in. And then after a rough start, I was able to focus mostly my attacks on the skinny guy. While Dung Eater took on the big guy because he can actually take all the hits. And my attacks were actually doing a fairly good bit of damage, which was great. But eventually the big guy decided he wanted to smoke, so we ended up switching partners. Now I don't know about you guys, but the Godskin Noble is just one of my least favorite bosses in the entire game. Mostly because of this attack. Yeah, why does that take so fucking long? And why is it so hard to dodge? I'm not going to bring the skinny guy back with that snap of his. The skinny guy wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, he does kill the dung eater. 
and I was just spamming my attacks, freaking, like, just panicking, trying to kill him quick as quickly as possible. And then going into round two, I just get all my buffs off, and I was just trying to get him dead as quickly as possible before he brought the other guy back. And it was close. Thankfully, that leashing effect did everything. Now, of course, I had to meet up with the homie Alexander. I see you finally made it here yourself. The city hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. What an incredible place we find ourselves. But unfortunately, he wanted the smoke, and who am I to say no? Now, going, now quickly into this fight, I realized none of my fire that attacks were doing any damage for some reason. I don't know if this is like legit or if it was just a bug. But the only one doing damage was Black Flame, and it was like just minimal. So I decided to just just going with my daggers instead. And well, after I mourned, I decided it was time to take off and take on another one of the secret bosses. Just look how, how cool this fucking boss is, dude. This this cutscene is fucking one of my favorites. Now for this boss fight, it was actually pretty straightforward. I was just trying to get behind him and launch every fucking attack I had. Unfortunately, we'd end up trading, but Burn All Flame was just doing us so much damage that it was literally just carrying this entire fight. And this is one of my favorite attacks in the whole game. Oh yeah, that's a dope ass attack. Now this is my first attempt and it's actually going really really well. But of course like all good things it just didn't end that way. I was too confident in my abilities that I ended up getting sniped. Yep. I forgot about that attack. I knew the next attempt was going to be terrible because this happens. So here we are in a here we are in attempt number 2. I was just trying the same two spells over and over, just giant's flame and burnal flame because those are the ones that are actually doing the most damage. But unfortunately, he kept taking off whenever I would do burnal flame, especially going into his second phase. And at this point, I was having trouble just getting close to him to pull off Burnal Flame. I, I just found it nearly impossible. Thankfully, Dungator was pulling all of his aggro. Just to give me enough time to pull off all my attacks. But at this point, Dungator had died, leaving me alone, and I was super nervous. But thankfully the leech effect of Black Flame was actually carrying this entire fight. It was here that I saw my opportunity to try and get behind him. And thankfully with Burn All Flame, he was able to get the kill. Now for fighting Malekith, it was basically the same thing. Just keep my distance as he threw balls at him. 
But thankfully, his first during his first phase, he was actually super weak prior. Now going into the second phase was a lot trickier, mostly because of the fact he's a lot quicker and he hits a lot harder. His leeching effect will actually take a lot of his health. But thankfully he focused on Dung Eater most of the time. The Dung Eater had died at this point, leaving me super nervous. But eventually I somehow end up getting a spell off, ending the fight. After that, everything went to shit and turned the world upside down. And then I remember there's a couple of bosses that I wanted to take on before ending the game. Ah, there you are. You claimed a great room. Yeah, I forgot this guy comes off, or I, I forgot this guy spawns whenever you get to the rose church for the first time, and it actually scared the fuck out of me. Anyways, after that, I started talking to Tavari to do his quest, and after he gave me the fingers, I decided to go a place where I know a lot of people like to hang out. Or I quickly ran into a roadblock. So after I came here, I remembered I was using mods, so I couldn't do the quest. But then I remembered I was using mods, so I just gave myself the item that I needed, and transitioned to where I needed to go. Now for the Mogwin fight, it was for the Moog fight, Mogwin, whatever. It was actually pretty stressful. Mostly due to the fact that he had a lot of health. Or because he was just immune to fire. One of those. Either way, I decided to use two of the same seals. Not because of the damage, because they don't stack damage. But the passives do stack. So unfortunately though, that was able to help me throughout this fight. And then me being stumbered, I just refused to use anything else. This Resist Tab actually was going really, really well. But he had... Moog decided real quick that he didn't like me and decided to end my shit. Attempt was the same thing, using two seals, mostly for the passes. But again, Mogwin was just not was just not happy with me throwing balls at him. from my what, third or fourth attempt, I, I stopped keeping up. But this one was cut short, like super quick. Because he's just not like me at all this attempt. He ends it super quick for me. Now throughout this fight, he ends up getting stuck on some of the headstones, and I was trying to take advantage of that, but unfortunately he corrected himself super quickly. Now aside from from spamming Burn of Flame, I was there to get that critical hit off, we actually did a lot of damage. Now I tried to negate some of the damage he was regaining through that his attack there, but that wasn't quick enough. And I was just shooting it throughout the entire fight. So eventually I just sucked to throwing black balls at him.
And then after that, we decided to go to Volcano Manor to fight Ricard. Now, I knew going into this fight, I wasn't going to do it legit because I don't want to deal with his annoying ass attacks. So I decided to do the cheese. Now, I tried the old cheese before the patch, thinking it was still working, but I quickly realized it wasn't. So I decided to do the new one, but unfortunately, that didn't work either. Yeah, so apparently you have to use a dragon spell to get up here, and I didn't have any dragon spells. Yeah, so it was off to kill the dragon. Now finding a dragon with pure fire spells is actually a lot trickier than anything else. Mostly because of the fact they do this. They just kept jumping up every time. Thankfully, Black Flame and the leech effect that it does was actually to carry me throughout this fight. Not because I was bad, but because I was lazy. Alright, so after that, I was off to the Dragon Church to get the Agil's Flame, but then I realized I don't have enough Arcane. And then I remembered I had to use Great Runes. But the problem with that is I don't have any Great Runes. See? So I decided I'm, I remember I'm using mods, so I just gave myself one. Went back to the fight and did the did the did the cheese. And doing it was actually a lot trickier, mostly because I'm impatient. But once you get up here, it's actually super easy. But none of my attacks have range, so I had to wait for the boss to come over. But unfortunately the dung eater was keeping most of his attention, so it took a while. I had to wait for the dung eater to die before I could do anything else. Well yeah, I ended up falling down a couple of times trying to get an attack off, and since I'm impatient, I couldn't get up in time. Or it took me a while to get up. Yep. At so this point, I realized I had a wave friend to come in, but I somehow I just kept, for some reason, I just kept spamming attacks. And once he was finding close enough, I could just spam my heavy attack, and that ended up on the first phase. So this first phase actually made it quite easier, doing this cheese. I know if I try to do it legit, I would be down there forever, mostly because of my fire attacks. We were not doing any damage whatsoever. At least none that I was happy with. And then going into his second phase, you get teleported back to the bottom of the arena. And I try to get up onto the cheese area again, but unfortunately I couldn't do it. And I ended up just getting killed anyway. I could just not make it up in time. So the second attempt at round two, I decided to save the dung eater for this part so that way he can keep the attention of the boss. I ended up getting super lucky and it pushed up into this area here, jumping back up and just waiting for him to come. Now Ricard is still one of my least favorite character bosses in this game. And I had to let him know by smacking him a couple times straight across the face. But he didn't like that, so he ended up throwing the fireball at me too. Now, unfortunately the Dung Eater was having a hard time trying to get an attack in on this boss. Because the magma that he has around him was just stun locking. But now that Ricardo was dead, I came back, I refreshed the area and it came back. And I found this chick just eating his head for some reason, which was like super fucking disgusting. So I ended up smacking the shit out of her. 
And then her bodyguard fucking spawns. He didn't like that at all. That guy was just super fucking easy and a bit of a dumbass. I ended up doing one of my better attacks and he just goes right for it. Yeah, I almost no hit him, but unfortunately I'm not that good at the game. But after he was dead, we have to fight Gideon. One of the hardest bosses in this goddamn game. Now I'm not joking, he actually got me in this first phase. I thought I was close to getting that back hit off, but he did not like that at all. Then he made it known. Yeah, he was not happy with me at all. Yep. So in the second phase, I was a bit more cautious and I'm actually a little nervous because this spells hit fairly fucking hard. Now after that, I was off to fight. Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Now the Godfrey fight was actually pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, I couldn't get all my buffs off in time, but I was able to keep my distance the entire time and just spam fireballs. Because we get him down to phase two, and that means it's time to fight the one and only. Now for the second phase, I'm just basically just rinse and repeat, except I had to be careful of his other attacks. Cause he just, he just did this. Yeah, he was just doing that the whole time. And for some reason I just couldn't, just couldn't get past those attacks. Now unfortunately the Dungator took most of the hits here, but it was better to him than me at this point. Yeah, if anyone knows a way I can get past these attacks, that'd be great. Let me know down in the comments. Now, that boy Dungator had died. Thank unfortunately, at least. But I was still able to get the last spell off. Alright, now going into Radagon, he's neutral against fire, which basically means he's weak to fire. So I just, just spam everything. So unfortunately... Uh, like, thankfully, he would just walk right into them sometimes. Although he's still a fucking asshole and I hate him. There goes his first phase. Now for the Elden Beast, it was actually a lot trickier. Mostly because I don't know what he's weak to. And what he's resistant to. I'm basically resistant to fucking everything. But I was just trying my hardest to get uh, Burn All Flame. But of course, the Elden Beast doesn't stay still for some reason. So it took a lot. This fight took a lot longer than it should have. So eventually, I stopped using my spells and decided to just go for like the melee hits. Mostly because I know he's weaker to strike or melee. One of those. Unfortunately, he uses Elden Stars, and that's like one of the most annoying attacks to fucking get out of. I was really confident until he did that because I still don't know how to fucking dodge all that shit. So I just took the L. Now going into the second phase, I was a lot more confident and I knew for a fact I wanted to use just probably just go straight melee on this one. 
Mostly because I wouldn't be able to get Burn of Flame off in time because he kept moving so much. I ended up changing my mind here using all flame instead most because it was quick to spam and actually did pretty decent damage. I ended up using Elden Stars again but this time I was able to just keep my distance and I was trying to close a gap but unfortunately he just kept moving. Here at the end spamming catch flame and thankfully I got the final hit because I got bombarded with his attacks and had literally no health at all. So after that we do the Ronnie ending because there's one ending I haven't seen yet. And it's actually one of the prettiest. So like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys want to see next. I have some more builds coming and I'll see you in the next one.